At what moment will you know this has been successful? It'll be steps throughout the entire process, making sure that we don't hit the temperature danger zone or we're not there very long. Engineering, maintenance, get his ass over here. Nonsense. Today we're taking on a culinary challenge, never attempted by any chef or sane person before. Behind me, a restaurant here in southern Vietnam called Guan Ut Ut, legendary in the barbecue scene. They do ribs, they do chicken, but today they're doing something completely different. It's technical, it's challenging, and there are so many reasons it should not be attempted. Yet here we are. Gentlemen, have you done anything like this before? I've not done anything like this before. This is not a project I could conceive by myself. It takes a brainstorm from a mad genius like him. I can't tell if you're like supporting each other or blaming each other. <laughs> we'll see at the end. The plan is this. Combine eight different creatures into one giant meat mountain monstrosity. Everyone's done a turducken, but we're going next level with Hagenstein. Is that what you're calling it? Uh, that's what I'm calling it. Okay. Starting with a quail egg. Inside a sparrow, inside a quail, inside a duck, inside a chicken, inside a goose, inside a turkey, inside a 100 pound pig. What are the biggest challenges you're gonna face in pulling this off? We got this big massive beast that can feed 100 people. It's very important to make sure all the food is cooked properly, never hitting temperature danger zones, making sure things are cooked through. In addition to every bird we could find, we're also tossing an entire holiday meal inside that pig complete with stuffing, veggies, and dessert. Can they just be eaten straight away? Is that the idea? Scoop it right out of the chest, yes. That's badass. So how is this gonna work? I have no idea. Can you tell me what the heck you're doing right now? I'm uh, taking the carcass out of this turkey. Why didn't you just order boneless? That's what I do when I go to TGI Fridays. Uh. Meet Jamie, head chef at Guan Ut Ut and today's pit master. To his side, Tim, one of the Ut Ut founders. What are you working on here, Tim? Got the goose. Oh, dude, it's like Conor McGregor in his last fight. In order to do this right, cooking must be spread out over three days. Day one, prepping the birds. Day two, cooking the turducken. Day three, cooking the pig. Right now, they're deboning the birds one by one. Here's where I'm going for the rip, guys. Uh, all Whoa. right. It is gonna be hard to put five birds in there. We'll see what happens. Okay, good. We wanted to do something that also had a holiday theme. What else are you doing to fit the holiday spirit? We've got stuffing going inside. Cranberries, sage, all of the festive herbs and spices. We're gonna put some dessert inside the pig. We're gonna make some baked apples. Is it gonna be roasting or steaming? Stoasting. <laughs> the other birds are deboned and filet. Chicken, check. Duck, check. The quail, check. The sparrow, well, it's pretty much impossible to debone a sparrow. But once roasted, they can be eaten whole. Finally, the quail egg is soft boiled. You guys are crushing it. Thank you for doing this. We'll see you again tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not gonna lie, daughter has gonna yagi her brain fried. My lady papa zenny out her lady pop. Welcome to day two. Day two is all about the assembly of the turducken. A turducken is a chicken in a duck in a turkey. Our turducken will include even more birds. Things are looking good overall, but I know Jamie got a smaller turkey than he expected. He's really gonna be stretching and pulling to make that bird wrap around all the other birds. Can he do it? I'm gonna go find out. Keep on heading if you want, I drive it like a nut. Well, hey, Jamie. Okay. Here we have the turkey. Where'd you order it from? Smallturkeysonline.com? Uh, yeah. What is the strategy from here? Start with the big turkey as my platform and go layer by layer all the way down to the quail egg. When it's all said and done, we'll give it a roll, see if it's possible to stitch up. If not, we start all over and we make things smaller. Oh, God. All the meat is brined in salt water overnight. But there's a lot more than bird meat going into this turducken. First, the bacon wheat. Has this been cooked? It's par cooked, yeah. Par cooked means partially cooked. And that's because, like, guys, we work in the kitchen. We need to save time by saying half the word. Slapping the bacon weave on top of the turkey. That looks nice. Next, the goose coming in hot. Then, the chicken. Then, a classic holiday stuffing. Oh, it smells really good. The stuffing is made with French baguette bread, herbs, and cranberries. Is it all cooked? Par cooked. <laughs> Working our way down in bird size, the duck is in place. And here we're going with gremolata. What is that? Shallot, garlic, rosemary, sage, olive oil, lemon zest, plenty of salt. This layer, if it goes everywhere, it's super cool. Yeah. Next layer, quail. 
This is our house oot oot Carolina barbecue sauce. A sweet mustard-based barbecue sauce that's been dehydrated, turned into a kind of sweet and savory leather. It's gonna be a big flavor. Mmm, it's so good. It's almost meaty in itself, even though it's a freaking sauce, right? The barbecue leather sits right down the middle. Then that's topped with three sparrows. Finally, the epicenter of this meaty monstrosity, a symbol for life itself, dun, 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 dun. an egg, a quail egg to be exact. Right inside a sparrow. So ideally, when this is all done, we're gonna try to cut it in such a way that we see some egg yolk in the middle. That would make us masters. Let's see what happens. Layering is easy. Now, the hard part. Seeing if all this meat will fit inside the turkey. Please grab the legs and put them together. It's time for the moment of truth. Okay. Oh, baby. Dude, you got so much space. It's gonna work. Yeah, it's gonna work, huh? I'm sorry to say, I did have a flash of doubt that Jamie wouldn't make it happen. Try to not stab me. Huh? But I was wrong. The meat fits perfectly. That looks pretty good. And from here, there's absolutely nothing that could go wrong. What about this rod that came out? Uh, I don't know. You know, you give me fucking shit. Yeah. I tried to run away, but couldn't get far. I did my best to keep up your radar. Once the turkey is carefully sewn shut, it's wrapped in foil and ready to hit the smoker. So from here, it's gonna head to the roaster and cook for how long? About six hours. Oh, sh I mean, oh shoot. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> really, that long? Yeah. I'll be back in six hours. Okay, cool. The moment has come. Right now, we're gonna open it up and see if it's actually finished. Let's do it. All right, crack it open. I don't, where are you at? So you pulled it to the edge here. You're kind of peeling back the foil. It looks awesome. The skin is kind of turned golden brown and it looks super tender. For yeah. F and A, it's hard to not just want to take a bite out of it right now. <laughs> Thermometer's inside. We need to hit 74 to be safe. And that's about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, bro, we're at 77 degrees. We're definitely in a safe zone. I'm excited seeing this just because I've never seen any turducken in real life. It looks completely worth doing. This is my first turducken. I'm excited. So far, are you happy with the progress? It's uh looks like Jamie is not. I've been faces, I've seen faces in... oh. Today is day three, and it all comes down to this. Yesterday, we made the turducken. Now it's time to put that inside the pig and roast everything together. I'm not gonna lie, yesterday was a bit rocky, and I know Jamie was not that happy with his work. It looked like someone threw a grenade inside the turkey, to be honest. The turducken looks good but it doesn't look great. But neither did I when I first popped into this world. But my mother still mostly loved me regardless. We ran into a problem. I totally covered it with foil, which allowed a lot of the steam to stay in. And the bird kind of exploded. Was a grenade one of the layers? That's good, you got jokes. That's good for TV. <laughs> good for you, bro. <laughs> Sorry, but listen, today's about redemption. We're gonna hide that inside of a pig and we can still get a nice cross section at the end of the day, right? Yeah, one of the concerns is that during the rotisserie, everything might untuff from the bird as the skin is not really there. So I'm gonna wrap the whole bird in call fat. What's call fat? Call fat is a membrane that encases a mammal's digestive organ. This is a pork call fat. Oh. It's gonna encase our turducken and save this video, I hope. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's bro. really f hot. So, wrapping the call fat around it now, kind of keep it in this protective sack. I'm having fun again. The turducken is all bandaged up. Now, it's time to meet the star. A dry salt rub has already been applied to the outside. The inside has been rubbed down with a variety of spices. Paprika, garlic powder, salt, pepper, oregano, and a few secrets. We have the whole pig right here. Now that I'm seeing everything at scale, this is gonna be quite a challenge. So first, all right, I'm not gonna look. I don't wanna look either, huh? I'm not look, you just, you do it. Shove the pole all the way through, then secure it. That's how you hammer a pig's butt. First in is last out, starting with our dessert package. Apples that have been cored and stuffed with brown sugar, butter, and raisins. Then wrapped in a beef call fat. We're kind of replacing its lungs and heart with apples. Next, a meaty layer of holiday sausage. Made by mixing their in-house Chicago-style pepperoni and spicy Italian sausage. So you're gonna kind of massage this to the edges, creating yet another meat layer. Now it's time for the birds to enter. Here it is. But is there enough space in this cavity for them to fit? Uh, I'm holding it as wide as I can, putting in the turducken. Oh, it looks pretty good. Man, that looks... It's... Really looks you pretty good. You can swear, dude. I've been places, I've 
That's great. That's pretty cool. Oh my God, what a feeling. Next, hard-cooked veggies, shallots, pumpkin, carrots, and potatoes. So right now inside the pig, we have apples, we have loose vegetables, we have a whole layer of sausage, and then our turducken. The only thing left to do now is sew the whole thing up and get it over the fire as soon as possible. Time to put the pig on the spit. Let's go. One, two, three. That's not light. <laughs> so we have to lift it over the cage? Yeah. <sighs> pig is in the spit. We're going to tie the feet to the cage and then get this baby started. This is the final step, securing the pig. Legs tied to the roller cage. Rods skewered through the belly to stop it from flopping around. The charcoal is put in place. Time to get it rolling. There's no competitors. How long do you think it's going to take for this to roast? I'm hoping eight hours. What's the best case scenario? We're drinking at four o'clock, eating at six o'clock, and sharing delicious food that is safe to eat with some good friends. With a challenge like this, there are no practice rounds. We've got one shot to nail it. And right when you start regaining confidence, something will absolutely go wrong. F nonsense. Engineering, maintenance, get his ass over here. I thought the exploded looking turkey was our only problem. It's all gonna fall apart. The weight is gonna tear the pig. This machine is simply not meant for a pig this size, pregnant with 15 pounds of bird. We're really running out of time and I'm just gonna go for that right now, okay? Jamie attempted to stabilize the pig, but these stainless steel rods are too smooth to stay in place. So the impromptu idea of what Jamie's doing right now is he's taking some steel wire and kind of creating a corset. He's gonna wrap that around a few times and hopefully that's gonna hold it in place, but we don't know for sure and the clock is ticking, so. All I can say, don't rush it. Make sure it's done properly. Yeah. All right, we're turning it on, hoping that it's a bit more stable now, not sliding around so much. It's better. It's better. It's definitely better. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna put the box on, get it hot. Mo, hi, bye. <sighs> me. Oh. oh, what's holding it? Fucking legs. Um, this is brutal. I feel pretty bad for Jamie right now. I just want to adjust this leg because it, it's hitting the top of the box. Okay. And uh, if I can just pull it back, maybe we'll be back in the game. What about this rod that came out? Uh, I don't know. You, you know, you give me fucking shit. It's kind of like everything went wrong. One issue after another after another. It's not like we can just redo it real quick. We can't just like reboil some pasta. We're going to at least pull one skewer out right now. Okay, that one's out. Okay. Spinning now. You have a pig on a rotisserie normally, it's not that big of a deal because it's like hollow on the inside. But this pig has 12 to 15 pounds of chicken meat inside its gut. So every time it's rotating, it's sloshing back and forth like a fat guy sprinting. So it's in there, it's cooking. We're gonna have to come back in five, six hours and see if this is gonna work at all. I mean, hopefully we don't f it up. An impossible fact, man's food like a mime act. The crowd has arrived, and this holiday feast is ready to be revealed to the world. Gentlemen, the time has come. This has been roasting for about eight hours. How are you feeling? Full of energy, surrounded with the love of this pig celebration. Great. I think we should take this off and reveal what's inside. Let's do it. Everything we've worked for over the last three days has built up to this moment. The pig has been roasting for eight hours, and it looks like... It looks like it got caught in a barn fire, to be honest. What happened to the feet? I cooked them. Cool. I love pig feet. It's certainly not going to win any beauty contest, but lucky for us, at least this once, it's what's on the inside that matters. Here we have the final product. The smell is outstanding. It smells very delicious. Can we rip off some of this and eat it straight away? Oh, 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 oh. Cheers. Yo. Mmm, it's like bacon. It's crunchy, salty, and delicious. That's the money. When you first pull a pig off, what's your favorite section of meat to bite into right away? I'm generally into the cheek. Should we get off some cheek? Gentlemen, I think we got a beautiful cheek jowl here. Oh my God, it's so meaty. Just a great combination of textures here. Cheers, guys. Mm. Wow. This is the Wagyu of roasted pork right here. Super tender pork roast. That's amazing. That is really good. 
So you just opened up the neck cavity. The veggies are intact and beautifully it cooked. It works. What is this, a Brussels sprout? That's right. Oh, huh. this is interesting. I thought this would dissolve away into nothing, but it's still got some body to it. Yeah. We absolutely did one thing for sure perfectly. With That's all this perfect. animal slaughter, at least we got the vegetables right. <laughs> Everything I've tried so far, absolutely delicious. But now we're hoping to do a cross section to cut it and then see just this beautiful layering of meat and different species. Let's do it. If the truth I'm looking for the, the egg. This is actually quite okay. tough. Now it's going through pretty smooth. I can see that this juice is leaking out. Please let the music play. One, two, three. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Let All right. The music play. Yes. Yes. Look at that. You can see all the layers here. There's a sausage up here, turkey, goose, and then the chicken is a little bit lighter color. Then we have duck inside of that. And then from there, well, it's just a mess of different things happening. <laughs> Never judge a pig by its cover. The cross section looks simply stunning. This is sparrow bones. Really? Guys, we found evidence. Sparrows have been here. The perfect layering of fowl and flavors. There's our turkey leg. <laughs> Amidst a slew of obstacles, somehow, Jamie and Tim came out victorious. Wow. Now, there's nothing left to do but saw off a portion and dig it. I love that when you're looking at the layers, you can definitely tell them apart. Oh, I think this is sausage? Mmm, the sausage is beautifully spiced. Oh, we hit cranberries. This compact layer is just stuffing. Mmm, that bite is like Christmas dinner. Rich turkey, moist, beautiful stuffing, and some cranberries in there. The variety of meats and ingredients offer an endless array of flavor combinations. This is the goose, I believe. Mmm, it's very flavorful. And if you dig even deeper, you might just find oh, a surprise. No! Here, it's a sparrow. Oh my god! I did not expect this. You can see right here, the head of the sparrow. I don't know if there's an egg in here, but this is right at the center of this whole amazing mess. Let's try out the sparrow. I need the strings. I need the bass and the drums. It's easier when it's fried, because then the bones really like become brittle. The flavors are good though. That's juicy. A good holiday meal isn't complete without a sweet finish. Luckily, our dessert was cooked inside the pig, and it's still piping hot. Number one. Oh, you're doing great. The apples are still intact. Oh, it's so effing hot. What do you think? That was pretty good. I reckon it's nice and soft. This baked cinnamon apple is served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and a sprinkle of cinnamon. I want a big wedge of apple, raisins, ice cream. Here we go. That is so satisfying. This is the perfect end to a long, arduous slog. Three days putting together this whole thing. It's a porky dream come true. I'm going full Mark Weens. Mm. This is a modern meat marvel, a spectacle with culinary merit, pushing the edges of what's possible with a list of ingredients, a little creativity, and a lot of guts. Huge ups to Guan uh, uh, Jamie, Tim, and the whole team here for having the intestinal fortitude to take on such a challenge. Doing it on such a big scale with such a large animal, with so many birds and a, a huge pig, I think they pulled it off. It would have been easy to quit, but the folks here at Guan uh, uh, pushed on, and in the end, came out victorious. From researching and shooting, to editing and mastering, our 10-person best ever food review show team works hard to roll out the highest quality travel food entertainment twice a week. If you like what we do here, please consider supporting our Patreon. Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a monthly sum and receive a load of extras like early video releases, private Q&As, and beyond. To learn more about our Patreon, check out the link in the description box down below. And if you can't give or don't even feel like it, that's okay too. <laughs> We're just happy you're here. All right, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Oh, peace. All right, let's drink some more of that beer. Where do you get those? Good.